arcade went up really hit a home run when they brought us the Fast and the Furious, their brand new driving cabinet in the deluxe form factor. Arcade went up deluxe cabinets that came before Fast and Furious had the newer type of marquees. You see it in Class 81 and Mortal Kombat 2. But when it came to Arcade went up releasing the Fast and the Furious, they went back in time and went with the old marquee design. There's only one eyesore with the Arcade went up Fast and Furious cab. This marquee is totally washed out. Yeah, they took a step back when they went with this light box versus the newer marquees that just basically slide right in. But the one thing in our advantage here is all we have to do is heat this up with a hair dryer, peel this off, and the new marquee will just slide and clip on right over this. There's nothing to take apart, and this will take you basically five to 10 minutes. And anyone with arcades like the Killer Instinct for Arcade 1UP, or even Star Wars, know exactly what I'm talking about when it came to that washout marquee and just how easy it really was to change these out. And that's exactly what we're gonna do with the Fast and the Furious. And one of the first things that I did after I put together my Fast and Furious cab, I reached out to Sables Arcade and I put an order in for that new marquee replacement. And you can see the box has a little bit of wear on it from transit, but if you've ordered from Sables before, you know that it's packed excellent. Nothing's gonna get damaged opening this up. You can see how everything's protected. There's double cardboard in here. And just taking a look at this marquee for the first time. And just off the bat, you can see how arcade accurate this marquee is. Even Lucky's excited. When I told her that we got this marquee, she was very stoked about it because she knows that washout doesn't look great on the camera. You can see the universal has color and also suitable for all ages. All that's left Lucky is peeling off that old washed out marquee and replacing it with this Joe Sabos Fast and Furious marquee replacement. And just take that hair dryer and go thoroughly over corner to corner on all sides of that marquee for about 60 to 90 seconds. And if you don't have a hair dryer, I'm going to leave a link for Toxin's review on what to use instead of using a hair dryer to warm up that marquee. And that marquee should just peel right off after you heat it up. The cabinet will kind of tip on you. There is some resistance there, so just kind of take your leg and block in that bottom corner. And finally, just wipe it down before we put that marquee on. And this is one of the fastest mods you'll ever do. You just put it on, clip the top, the bottom, Just like that, it snapped right on. And another great marquee, just turning this on for the first time. The colors aren't washing out, they really stand out. You can totally see this coming up on camera. My favorite marquee changes are these slip on marquees. There's hardly anything you really gotta do. You just gotta warm up, peel off that old marquee, put this one on, there's nothing to take apart. Awesome mod, awesome product from Sabos Arcade. And no difference with the lights on versus with the lights on with the previous marquee, it shows up in the dark or with the lights on. Excellent looking marquee. Sables Arcade has also thrown in an additional 10% off for anyone interested in purchasing the Fast and Furious marquee replacement. Just enter code PD710, that's PD710 when you're checking out on Sables Arcades. I want to thank everybody for watching and I'll see you guys next time.